Join me in the studio today, I have Eitan Uliel, who's Commercial Director at Bahamas Petroleum, ticker BPC. Thank you for being here today. Hey, thanks, a pleasure. You've just announced an open offer to investors today. Um, could you take us through the reasoning and some of the details of that, please? Yeah, sure. So, um, as most people who follow our stock would know, we have an obligation to drill a well in the Bahamas next year. That obligation is fixed, we have to do it. And uh, in addition to pulling together all the many things you need to drill an oil well, we have to pull together the funding. Uh, so the first limb of our funding strategy was announced several weeks ago, where we uh, put in place a convertible loan note with some uh, Australian investors. And the second limb of our strategy, which is what we've announced today, is an open offer to our shareholders. The open offer is uh, seeking to raise seven million pounds at a price of 2p per share. And uh, the rationale is quite simple. We work for our shareholders. We listen to our shareholders. We've been told many times by our shareholders that they have been long-term patient investors in the company, and we should give them the first chance to participate in financing ahead of others, ahead of institutions and you know the city market. So that's what we're doing. Mm. And you previously said that uh, the share price of 2p a share or roughly at that area was materially undervaluing the project. Do you still believe this to be the case? Well, yes, definitely. I mean, I'm putting my own money into the open offer. Um, the, 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 rash, the reason is actually quite simple. Uh, we're in the business of oil exploration. And so what happens in a share price day to day, week to week is kind of irrelevant to the long game. The long game here is we need to drill an oil well and see what is there on our acreage in the Bahamas. Now we believe that we are sitting on what could potentially be a multi-billion barrel oil field. And if we are right, if we drill a well and we find what we hope we're gonna find, uh, one, two, three, four P, these are all irrelevant numbers. Mm. And when is drilling expected to start? Well, as we announced today, we have now locked that down. So again, three or four weeks ago, we announced that we had entered into a framework agreement with Seadrill, one of the world's largest drilling companies. And under that framework agreement, we had until now, until the 11th of October, to notify Seadrill, one, that we um, would have the money needed to proceed with drilling, and two, that uh, we wanted to go ahead. So that's what we've done. As part of notifying Seadrill that we want to go ahead, we have um, given them an expected date for when we would like the drill rig to arrive. And that is late first quarter 2020. So less than six months. Mm. And so with this fundraise, um, how much do you think um, the drilling is expected to cost? Well, the drilling, the current drilling estimate is between 20 and $25 million. Mm. Uh, what people need to understand is it's not an exact science. It's not like purchasing a bag of chips at the local corner store. Uh, the ultimate cost of drilling is heavily linked to the daily rate you pay for your drilling rig and the number of days you drill. And that, there are a whole bunch of technical things, but fundamentally that is linked to the rate of penetration, how fast you can get through the rocks. So at the moment, based on the contract we have with Seadrill and the service contracts we put in place with Halliburton and with Baker Hughes, some of the biggest names in the industry who are coming to our party, um, we have a very high degree of confidence, a very high ability to bound what we think the well will cost. And that is between 20 and $25 million. And our funding strategy is matched to that. Mm. And so the funding strategy is what, could, could you take us through some of the details of the how that expected to be funded? Well, our preference, and it remains our preference, has been our stated preference for a very long time, is to secure a farming. A farming being a partnership with one of the large international oil majors who will join the project and who will pay for all or a substantial part of the drilling cost. That absolutely remains our preference. We have ongoing farming discussions at the very moment, um, and uh, we would still like to secure a farming for a whole series of reasons. That said, as I mentioned right at the beginning, we have an obligation, an immutable commitment to drill this well. That is what is going to create value for our shareholders. And we are going to drill this well. And we're not gonna sit around waiting indefinitely for a farming partner to decide what they want to do. So we're getting on with it. We're putting in place the funding we need. As I said, convertible note, open offer, 
We've received other funding proposals which we can consider depending on where we get to with the farming conversations and with our open offer. Mm. And what can investors expect coming up in the future for Bahamas Petroleum? Well, the next six to nine months is essentially, you know, as they say in the classics, it's company making time. Mm. So we have a very uh, well defined series of events, activities, milestones in the lead up to drilling. Mm. Obviously, there will be news around the funding as that strategy unfolds. But equally, you know, people forget that drilling an oil well is not a simple thing. It's a huge enterprise. You need to bring a huge number of skills and people to bear. And over the next six to nine months, as we head into that drilling, people will hear about drilling rig, mobilization of drilling rig, environmental permitting, you know, all the things that go towards uh, initiating a drilling campaign. And obviously the big thing that we're working towards is spudding the well, drilling the well, and then, you know, testing and seeing what's there. Mm. Eitan, thank you for coming into the studio today. It's been a pleasure. No worries, a pleasure.